Welcome back, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is Dylan or Jigsaw, and today we are watching the finale for season three of The Mandalorian. Been a crazy season so far. What can I say? A lot of mixed emotions from a lot of people. Can't say the same for me. I've, I've felt pretty forward about it, pretty good. You know, I, I know there's a couple side missions here and there that most people didn't really care much for, but it's Star Wars, man. I'm not going to get too upset about it, and I'm also not going to act like I'm just kind of accepting everything they give us of course i have feelings about them but i'm also not going to just blurt my crap out on social media and on instagram because that honestly has no effect like it does nothing <laughs> last week we lost the man the myth the legend paz Vizla. he went down like a true mandalorian should on his shield and oh it was a heartbreaker man it, it really tore me apart. We still have absolutely no idea who the spies are. I have a couple theories. I'm kind of with some people on the armor, but I also think it makes absolutely no sense for all those old Mandalorians to be on the planet this whole time and never know the Empire was there. Like, that makes absolutely no sense. There's no way they were there this whole time and they didn't know the Empire was there. They took them right to the spot. Like, come on. I need to quit stuttering over myself. I'm too excited. Let's go ahead and get into the finale. Let's go. Okay. The last time for who knows how long that we're going to see this intro, man. It was gone for three years last time. Moff Gideon is alive. He's gathered his forces and he's using our homeworld as his base. They're sending up fighters to destroy the fleet. Evacuate everyone. Use the capital ship. That's a nice view on his helmet, man. Oh my god. Oh shit, Din. Come on, come on. He just snapped his neck. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Girl gear, you I'm freaking okay. bitch. Okay. He's giving him back to spray. <laughs> oh, that's funny. If we don't take out Moff Gideon, this will never end. Oh, he's got his mission. He knows what he needs to do. Are you with me? Getting giddy like a little. The return. If we escape to the surface, I know where we can hold up. Let's go this way. I still don't trust those pirate Mandalorians, man. They don't mean well, I don't think. towards the fleet dude holy shit sir the fighters and bombers have launched their capital ship will soon be destroyed shall we engage no i'll take care of him myself yo this is gonna be hard as shit r5 come in r5 i need you buddy you're gonna have to scomp into the base and get me the location of Moff Gideon's command center. Oh my god, I love this. That's so cool. We haven't seen anybody use their, their boosters since like Revenge of the Sith. Got it. Good job, buddy. That's the command center. The communications log says that's where he operates from. You better be careful, man. I'm waiting for him to just that's jump you here in a second. Thanks for the fleet command. The scouting party has been ambushed by Imperial remnants. They're launching fighters to destroy the fleet. Leave the capital ship behind as a decoy. Rokatan needs our help. I'll take care of the cruiser. Everyone go. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. 
Dude, this is gonna be an absolute dog fight, bro. Holy shit. Oh, Axe is serious about this shit. Okay, Axe, I see you. Oh, Axe, what's your plan here, man? Whoa. What's happening to him? R5. There's some barrier shields. I'm gonna need you to deactivate them one at a time. Okay. On my command. Are we meleeing this whole hallway? Open their shield! Open their shield! <laughs> Good moves, but he lost the knife and the gun. Oh, God. Five, five. Next shield. <laughs> Look at him, man. Oh, no. Oh God. <laughs> Come on, R5, be careful. Absolute beast, man. <laughs> My good God. Oh, one fell. No. What are these dudes? Wait here. They look all different, I think. I don't think they're all like clones of each other. Oh, oh, yeah, they are. Never mind, I lied. Give us a look at the face, man. Who is it? That's not Gideon. Those are his clones. No way in hell. No. Oh my god. Of all people, I did not think that he was cloning himself. How did I never even consider that? We'll be safe down here a while. We've taken refuge in these surface caves since the purge. And yet, you had no idea the Empire was here? Really? I'm still confused about that. Lady Kreeze. Your reinforcements have arrived. Let's go. I am nerding the hell out right now, dude. This is so awesome. Gauntlets, everybody's getting ready to drop out. We finally see her use the jetpack!
everybody's eating up, dude. This is the shit I wanted to see. They walked right into his freaking room, man. It's like walking in the Palpatine's throne room. <laughs> We're finally going to be perfect. The best parts of me, but improved by adding the one thing I never had. The Force. The Yons smothered them before they could draw their first breath. Let's go. Let's go. He may have the armor, but he doesn't know how to fight like a Mandalorian. And the fighting is going on in the background. Poor Paz. Poor Paz. No, no, no. Come on, Grogu. Come on. No. Like Thor with that hammer, man. Good. <laughs> Let's go. I've got this. Go save your kid. Let's go, baby. Let's go. What's it gonna be this time? Surrender or fight? Come on, Grogu. Oh! Come on, Dan. <laughs> Let's go! Dude, this is intense. in the air, bro. I don't know, man. That could take out a lot of your own guys. Hand over the dark saber, and I will give you a warrior's death. Come on, though. Oh, fuck. You've lost everything. Dude. Mandalorians are weak once they lose their trinkets. Mandalorians are stronger together. Let's go! Axe, you gotta get out of there, man. Nice.
dude. Look at that. Oh my god. Ancestors, I swear on my name and the names of the ancestors that I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. That I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. Man, why am I tearing up knowing that Paz could see his son get to do this, bro? Like, this is so sad. Grogu is my apprentice, he is no longer a foundling. Add him to the song. If so, he is too young to take the creed. He must remain a foundling. Then I will adopt him as my own. <laughs> oh. This is the way. This is the way. Let it be written in song that Din Djarin is accepting this foundling as his son. You are now Din Grogu, Mandalorian apprentice. This is the way. Tin Grogu. <laughs> Why is that breaking my heart? Yes. Yes. Go with this. Go with this. They got freaking Mandalore back, dude. Holy shit. Where's Dave at? Ah, there's Dave! There's Dave! Look at him! I want to give you this deed to a cabin just outside of town where you can lay low with your new family if you choose so. Between adventures. And I have a gift for you as well. <laughs> Greetings, citizens. I am IG-11, your new marshal, your new <laughs> marshal of Navarre. I am at your disposal, and so, at your pleasure. Look at him shaking hands like I go, oh dude, this is so cool. Look at his little home. Oh, that looks so cozy, dude. I want that place, what the hell? <laughs> doing it like how luke taught him oh well that was a good episode um you can definitely tell it was a little rushed um a lot of people were trying to figure out how they were going to close this season in a 38 minute story and we're still kind of asking ourselves that question afterwards you know what i mean fights were great Death of Mav Gideon. It was okay. Kind of wish Bo Katan would have killed a more Mando, even or even Grogu. Just someone besides the fire, because I feel like that's just kind of like we didn't really know who, who should kill him or what, who, like why we or how or something. I don't know. I just feel like the fire, either he's not dead or the fire was just kind of like a quick and easy way to kill him off. You know what I mean? I keep saying, you know what I mean, at the end of the sentence. I'm turning into my grandpa because he does that shit, too. We still don't know who the spies were. Unless I'm, like, missing something here. I, like, I don't know what that was alluding to. Unless the spies were the Empire on the planet that whole time. Spying on Mandalorian culture? I don't know. Because this one was called The Return, and I guess it alludes towards the return of them to Mandalore. I thought it meant, like, someone coming back, like Boba. 
<laughs> my buddy just texted me and said, I don't know what to think about that. And I think that sums up the reaction to the season three finale, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to maybe see Grogu destroy those Praetorian guards because I thought maybe he was going to get kicked out of his IG unit, kind of learn to use the force and throw them, crush them, something. But they kind of cheaped it out that way, too. It just seemed like they really didn't know what to do, which is odd because... The show was so good. At, I don't want this show to be the show that was really good at the start and got really bad towards the end. I do not want that for this show. It was so good at the start. I don't want it to be like Game of Thrones, man. The fight was cool, but it was very quick. We really only got a few really quick, very motion blurred, like, jetpack scenes where they're fighting in the air and then there were a lot of the combat what i look for nowadays in combat scenes like hand-to-hand -hand combat is how often they cut or if it's gonna let them fight for a couple of minutes and then cut or seconds you know what I mean? like it's just, like you could tell if it's a really good choreographed fight or just kind of like a quick make it look like they're fighting really crazy but they're really not because they're cutting a ton and they did that a lot and th th that's not a bad thing get, don't get me wrong but typically it just means that the fight isn't as choreographed as it should have been and it was just kind of chopped up to make it look like it was a-okay let me know how you guys feel about this episode down below very curious to see how everybody feels obviously my buddies are already letting me know um, if you want the full-length reaction, the link for that will also be down in the description as well as the comment section. There you get a copy of my face cam with a little timer down below so you guys can sync it up with your copy of the episode and get the full uncut version of what I'm saying. That way, if anything got cut out, you get the full picture of my uh, perspective on the episode. <laughs> Been thinking about making some video essays about this season and about Star Wars in general because of just how crazy the fandom is at this point. The community seems pretty split. And half doesn't even seem right. It seems like it's split into like 16th, man. It's like horribly split. It's horrible. It's it's bad. Make sure to leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Only 10% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I know sometimes I watch a channel for a long time and I realize, holy crap, no way I haven't been subscribed this whole time. And somehow I haven't. Sometimes we forget we're all humans. So like I said, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.